Welcome to the Knitting Samurai Plus One video podcast. I am your host, Steph, and this is episode eight. Congrats to Kathy. Um, so, uh, a few of you may have seen the posting on the boards, but Katrina1223 had her little boy um, a couple weeks ago. It was November 15th. His name is Callum. And I am just so pleased for her. So she's been with me since the beginning of the Expectant Knitter podcast when I was doing that. I think she was a little behind me. Well, obviously, he was just born and Roland was born in September. But um, she's been watching right along and yay, her little boy came. So I'm sure right now she's going through all the tough, crazy newborn stuff. But it will get better, I promise. Every day is a little better than the one before. and. Pretty soon he'll be doing all kinds of things and giggling and cooing and making everybody around him super happy. So, congrats to Kathy. Um, it is today, <laughs> just Thursday, December 1st. Thanksgiving was last week. Sorry to have missed you guys. Hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I did. It went by in a blur. Um, <laughs> didn't expect the baby to be a moving object all day and passed around from person to person but he was and he made it just fine he had a we had a good day it was just a blur like it flew by in no time at all and now his first thanksgiving has come and gone and next up is christmas <laughs> so um we had a good time saw lots of the family and roland wore a sweater that i knit special for him and he uh he wore his shoes. I did buy him shoes. So it was just really funny. Because um, I didn't want to get him dressed too soon and have him spit up all over his clothes. So it was like, okay, the baby's dressed. He's got his shoes on. Take the picture. Because we always do a big family picture with 20 something people every year. So it's like, take the picture now. He's ready. <laughs> so everyone was really accommodating and, and good to us. So Thanksgiving was good. But that's not why you're here. You're here to hear about knitting. Well, that or to watch the baby. But he's sleeping right now, so you just have to watch me. So, this uh, past week, I finished my Meandering Circular Ziggies. Um, these are by Bonnie Zink. I actually have some show notes, so I'm not just like, uh, yeah, I think it's this, that, or the other. I've gone back to work, so I have time to sit at a computer and uh, type out show notes. During lunch, of course. Uh, <laughs> which, speaking of going back to work, that's an interesting thing. Um, it's different now that I have a baby, and I swear I'm going to get a speeding ticket trying to get home as fast as I can <laughs> to see him at the end of the day, because it's really long to go all day without seeing him. But anyways, so show notes, yes. It's Meandering Ziggies with a Zag by Bonnie Zink. These are knit on US 1.5 0.5 millimeter needles. It The yarn is three years. That would be the monitor kicking in. Really? Okay. Three years twisted in fiber, and this is the Tweedles colorway. I really enjoyed knitting them. And um, the zigzagging shape, so the part that goes up. Let's see, if I shift it, could you see it a little better? So see how that goes up? It made them a little small. I've made them a little small for me. So they're going to be a Christmas present by default. So that's nice. Um, yeah, and as I was going along of the cuff, I did add some stitches to the back of the calf for calf shaping to make them, to give a little extra room since they were a bit narrow through the foot and up the leg. But I think they will fit her perfectly. So these are finished and off my needles. And once they came off the needles, of course, another pair of socks had to go onto the needles. So these are the Giles Wavy Socks by Ann Campbell. I am using Online Super Sock 100 in the Lavender Fair Isle colorway. So there you go. You can see how those are coming along. I have loved this yarn for a very long time. This green stripe really speaks to me. Green with the pink. So. Again, another like zigzaggy. I can't just do straight stockinette, stripey sock yarn all the time. So, um, another Christmas. Well, it's not really a Christmas present. It's for January, but it's another gift for somebody. I am 
uh, using 1.5 millimeter needles. 1.5 US, 2.5 millimeter needles. Yeah, so that's what's actively on the, the needles this week. Um, but soon to be returning to the needles will be the Elizabeth Zimmerman sweater I was working on for Roland in Fiber Nymphs Sunday's Coming. So I had, uh, if you may recall, that I was going along like crazy and then I realized that ah, I'm running out of yarn. Sorry, I dropped a stitch there. And so I stopped and I ordered yarn. And now the new yarn is here. So it arrived yesterday, so I should be able to finish it. I did have her dye a skein of the green color as an accent in case I wanted to use that for the sleeves instead of going with the um, striping. I think, or continuing on with the striping, I think we're going to be good. I think I'll just continue with the striping and say, there you go. <laughs> Stripey sweater for my boy. Very crazy. I think of this as like a Mardi Gras color. The gold and purple and green. So that is back in action or will be tonight. So look for updates on that. And Lisa's so sweet. She was a little late in sending me my yarn and so she also threw in a skein of the amble it's a short skein so i can knit him a hat or socks to match the sweater so super sweet of her and of course this is such a pretty happy color the yellow just makes me go yee! <laughs> so that will be returning to the needles um in the mail this week i got a wonderful a rolling god i didn't get it a wonderful sweater from um, my friend Allison Lucy 325 on Ravelry so this is I looked it up this is the Kindling by Terry Cruz she used US size 4 and it is knit with Barocco vintage isn't this color great so I have a cowl I think it's the placed Aaron cowl sweater that I knit a year ago that's also a Barocco. It's the same shade of orange, I swear. Can you tell I really like orange? Um, it's the same shade of orange. It wasn't with Vintage. It was Ultra Alpaca, but you know how their colors work. So Allison saw this yarn and started knitting when she didn't know if it was an it or a boy or a girl. <laughs> and she didn't know what it was. Thinking, oh, baby will match mom. And then... Um, reading her notes on the pattern once she found out it was a boy she put buttons these great little leather buttons they're so classic down the front of it so uh, this is the four size four so hopefully it'll be a little while till he fits into this but it is gorgeous and I actually talked to her about it I have definitely Allison sorry I'm gonna slam you here honey she has not been knitting as long as I have and I think of myself as a pretty accomplished knitter and we've received a lot of hand knits lately and it's so wonderful and I really appreciate it but for such a new a newish knitter as she is this is amazing her stitch definition and execution of this pattern is beautiful like I was blown away by how beautiful this sweater is so I talked to her about it and she said that she um, steamed blocked it steam blocked it which I never do I am a wet block and let it dry but and usually that gets you know your yarn is it gives it more of a fluffy feeling this looks like it's pressed and perfect it looks so good so good and it's not that she's a bad knitter please I'm not saying that at all don't be hurt honey I'm just saying like way better than I thought she could do way better than I could do I mean this is a really really pretty 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 sweater <laughs> Or example of knitting so again really pleased and thankful for it and I can't wait to see him in it <laughs> yeah we had our um, pictures taken today for our Christmas cards and I'm pretty sure that this is gonna have to make it into some some formal picture for him because it's so cute so cute but anyway so that came in the mail this week thank you Alice and then also in the mail this week, I got my skein of Haunted Vineyard, which is for the Knit Girls Knit Girls Knit Along. Um, it is Cloud Lover Sock Yarn. It's 400 yards, 
it's an 80-20 merino nylon. So I really love the red pops in it, where it turns bright red. Um, I, I just undid it because when I initially opened the package after work one night this week, I was like, oh, it's really dark and it's like more of a, like I was seeing basically this. And so now that I un untwist it, I'm really happy to see that there are some of these bright red areas, which is what drew me to it to begin with. So I'm not going to commit to doing the knit along. I wanted this game because I wanted this game. <laughs> Um, I may or may not participate in the knit along, but it's a pretty skinny yarn and it's mine now, so you know how that goes. Yeah, and I think that since I've been back to work, and I've done really good walking at lunchtime because that's the habit we got into during my maternity leave as we walked. I was shooting for seven days a week. I walked at least five days every week, and, um... So I wanted to keep up with that habit so I haven't been knitting at lunch and then I get home and then Steve goes, here, have a baby. And so Roland is mine and I'm so happy to see him that knitting really isn't something I want to do. But we did both catch a cold at Thanksgiving and so Monday night I came home from work and he fell asleep at 5. I woke him up at 9.30 to feed him and then he slept through till 6 the next morning. It broke my heart. It was like, I worked all day and I don't get to see you. Okay, I'm whining. I'm sorry. That was Monday night. Anyways, um, <laughs> I was going somewhere. Oh, so yeah, even though I had time, I didn't do any knitting, but I will. I will be knitting more. I am sort of inspired right now to work on um, a vest for him, some sort of knitted lusciousness that is easy to get him into. So I love sweaters, but the ear, like getting his arms in the sleeves can be irritating. And he's good, like we keep our house pretty warm, you know, he can wear his long sleeve sleeper or onesie, but then just a little extra layer of warmth on his chest I think would be nice. So. There are three patterns I am considering. One you have seen before, the Pembroke by Kristen Kapoor. Um, Sheena, she, hmm, Sheila D37 had knit Roland one. I think it was part of her, I know it was. It was for her Podcaster Challenge project. Was she knit one of it? Mm, she knit one. There's what it looks like. And um, sent it to us. She did the six month size and at six weeks old it fit him. So um, maybe if I do the 18 month or the true T size I could get one that would fit him now. He's wearing, he's 12 weeks old and he's wearing, he's just starting to fit into nine month clothing like the six month is getting stretched on him. So I'm thinking I might do that one or I'm going to do, I'm not sure about cables, I'm not wild about that. I really just want like a simple vest, but, or I will do the owl baby vest by, serious, her name doesn't print? Okay, the designer's name doesn't print when you print the pattern. Oh, that makes me sad. Jody Haroldson, at least pattern and images are copyrighted to her. So, and that's a, just, I don't know how well you can see the printer, black and white, the picture, black and white, but it's a, um, just a, a vest with a row of those owls across the center of the chest right under the arm. So could do that. Or I was thinking of, if I want to go really simple, like these are in order of brain power, I think cables, little owl design, or the Oz vest by Louisa Harding, which is from a book. Hang on, I'm gonna go grab the book. It's very convenient when I record downstairs because the closet in the living room is where I keep all of my knitting books and then my sock hair. Um, so the Oz Vest is in Natural Knits for Babies and Moms. I think this was my first knitting book. I know I've shown it to you before. I've probably knit half of the patterns in here. I've made the Oz vest before for one of our friends, and now that I have a little boy, I understand that it was laughably small for him, like maybe the first two weeks of his life he could have worn it. But, you know, the things you don't know until you know them. 
there's a lot of them. And I am just flipping and looking. There it is. Okay, I was looking for a striped vest because the one I knit was striped, but this one is not. It just has little garters on it. So that's the Oz vest. And what size it fits up to 12 months. So if I knit the biggest size, it might fit him for a little while. But it doesn't take very much yarn to make this. So one of those three vests will be on the needle soon. Anyone want to knit a vest with me? <laughs> if you do, let me know. Maybe we'll start, we can start a thread and do a little knit along on the board. Um, and that's about it. Congratulations, Kathy. I hope you are loving every minute with your little guy. Because God knows I love it all with mine. So, um, have a great few days until I speak with you again. And, yay! I don't know. <laughs> I'm just excited. It's a day off. And, yeah. Love, enjoy, and happiness to you. So, talk to you soon. Bye. Um. <laughs> <laughs> What did you dream? Huh? Yeah? You tell that camera. You tell it, honey. Huh?